Now we know that there are multiple ways in which we can control the field status, but what's important is uh, for us to also show that uh, the account group concept is still valid, as we have been saying. But again, for some of you who have a bit of more experience in the CP system, you know that the account group is something that we use to classify the master records, yes, of our customers. We can have groups of customers, group of ven groups of vendors. But we also use this concept of account groups, uh, even in previous releases, to control the field status. So now the question will just come to to our uh, the top of our mind, saying like, okay, uh, what uh, customizing will take precedence? What is the most important customizing, or how everything uh, everything is considered when we are customizing the the field status? So, well, for this we want to show uh, where the account group customizing is set up, and how can we get to the field status customizing that is linked to the account groups, and what will happen, uh, or what is the best practice uh, if we have like these multiple ways to control the field status for the same uh, fields. So, well, let's open financial accounting. Here is different because we the account groups, as we have been saying, that is something that even comes from previous releases and it's not part of the uh, cross application components. So it's inside financial accounting. Actually, here we have account receivable and accounts payable, and we have both the customer accounts and vendor accounts. Right now, let's see the detail for customer accounts. We'll open master data. And as you can see, we have both preparations for creating a uh, customer master uh, data. Right now, let's start the first uh, transaction, which is define account groups with screen layout. And again, we have so many uh, groups. But if you remember the account group TC12, that is the one that is linked to the grouping BP02, the, the grouping for the business partners. So let's have a look um, using position here. Let's have a look at the TC12. And well, uh, here we have the uh, ID TC12, just customer training uh, FI customers. So let's double click on the line to get to the detail. And at the bottom is where we have the access to the field status. Actually, we have access to the customizing of the field status of the fields of three main sections, the general data section, the company code uh, data section, and the sales data section. Uh, of course, this has to do uh, with a uh, sales distribution. This has to do more with uh, financial accounting. And this is just more with general data. Actually, let's have a look at the general data. Um, and well, let's have a look at the fields uh, that have to do with the address. So the first thing we just want to say, uh, and that you should focus, is that all of the fields uh, have optional entry selected. Actually, let's let's even uh, show the next fields and the next fields. And as you can see, if we scroll up, scroll down, uh, uh, well, just everything has optional entry. That, of course, has to do uh, with the fact that we were saying, okay, if you have the power to control the field status uh, using different um, uh, criteria, I mean, like the, the business partner on, on one layer and the account groups in another uh, different layer but it's the same fields because these are the fields for a customer uh, master record then we need just to be careful and uh, follow this best practice and literally the best practice is to initially have everything in optional or I in the grouping we had just everything in uh, the initial status like the not selected uh, or not specified because that is the the lowest uh, priority and then if you want or if you need to modify anything and make it required maybe let's say the street you can just come here and modify and, and take it to as a required entry so in that way the the users will never have to uh, uh, well, uh, just worry uh, that the street will be empty because it's a mandatory field they uh, um, will every employee that tries to create a customer master record, they would need to set up the full address or the correct address uh, fields, especially the street. The street, if we select that as a required entry, that will mean that it's uh, completely impossible to create a new master record without entering a valid street. So, well, that is, I mean, that is a bit for, for that section, but we could also check just quickly the company code data section. And actually, well, let's have a look at the account management first. As you can see, well, 
all of all, all of them are uh, optional except for the um, CEU uh, code which is suppressed but uh, that's also important if we have a specific need maybe for this account group we don't want that field so we don't even want to uh, that the user will have an access to enter values for that field we can just suppress that field it's just actually a, a synonym to this will be just hide to hide the field um, uh, so well, that is also the the next important thing that we just want to really mention right now that if you have fields and a for a particular account group so for customers let's say this like the VIP customers or the, the specific region customers you don't want per some fields you can just hide them or uh, uh, just have them as display because either way the, the user won't be able to enter values for those fields. So again, you can be very specific and you can say, okay, this is the field status for this particular account group. And it's only as those settings will only apply to that particular group of customers. If you have another group of customers, you could have a different uh, way, a different alternative on how to set all of this. So well, um, right now, Actually, important, for example, the reconciliation account, here it's as an optional entry, but when we create the master record, it's going to be required because in the BP role, we set that up as required. Or uh, let's just have a look in the group of for payment transactions. Again, everything is optional, as you can see here, including just the, the terms of payment, right? So, uh, again, uh, the question might be, okay, what takes precedence? Well, it depends on the priority of the field status. And for example, uh, it required it has a higher priority than optional. So that means uh, that uh, the, the field will show up as a required entry. The, that field will have, uh, the user will always need to uh, or have to uh, enter a valid terms of payment, uh, also a valid reconciliation account. But it's not being controlled using this field status. The control is being um, uh, set uh, we have set that control in uh, using the BP role. So well, for the time being, this is uh, just what we wanted to show uh, and, and it's for you to also understand the link between these multiple ways in which we can um, control everything that has to do with the field status. But uh, right now, let's finish with this the lesson and uh, we just want to thank you all for your attention.